Early on in my career, I met a little dog named Rudy, a little miniature pincher, and he was a 10-pound bundle of exuberance. He was totally adorable. He had lived with Dorothy for many years, and now he was peeing all over the house. He'd ruined her carpet, her bedspread, and all of the drapes in the house. And Dorothy was done. She was ready to find Rudy a new home. But she loved this little guy, and she wanted to do everything possible. So she asked if I could help. So I sat down and got quiet and spoke with Rudy. And what he told me was, he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy had married Tom, who had just moved into the house, and took over Rudy's whole job. Dorothy was his woman. And he was her protector and her companion. And now this strange guy moved into the house and took over everything. Wouldn't you be upset if you were, if you were a little dog and you lost your home and your woman all at the same time? <laughs> what made matters much worse was that Tom would spray Rudy with a water bottle every time he peed in the house. So it became a peeing contest. <laughs> I told Rudy that Dorothy still loved him, he still had a home, and he was fine. But he had to stop peeing right now or he was out. I told Dorothy that she needed to tell Rudy how much she loved him, everything was fine as long as he behaved. And I told Tom to stop spraying him with water and instead to spend some quality time with this little dog and let him know that it was okay, that both of them loved Dorothy, but that Tom still loved Rudy anyway. Well, Rudy stopped peeing in the house immediately. And Dorothy told me, after the fact, that her relationship with Rudy had changed completely after this session. She now saw him as not just a little dog, but a full member of her family, that he was an intelligent, conscious being, and she treated him like her child, like a real person. This for me was clear evidence that I was able to converse with animals and affect change. So this was really huge for me. And I, I also realized that animals have emotions, just like we do. Just like us, yeah. animals have emotions, and like us, they have their issues. I think it's really important for us to understand why animals do as they do, because then we have a means to help them, and also to have the unconditional love for them that they so generously give to us. That's it.